Hey, this is Man Made Mead. Today I'm going to teach you how to calculate your alcohol by volume using your gravity readings that you should be taking before you start your brew. The first thing you need is a hydrometer, which looks like this. It is a little uh, glass tube that you float inside of your starting liquid. So let's say you've made a beer or a wine or a mead or maybe even like a cider. You're going to have your beginning mixture, whatever it is. Um, if you float it in a big enough container where it actually floats, you'll see that it will land on a certain point. So let's say that it floats up to 1.060 and you'll just have to use your eyes to watch where it's floating and sing. If you turn the hydrometer around, you can kind of trace a line to find out roughly what your ABV is. But let's say you want to find out the exact ABV possibility. There's an equation for this. In order to find exact ABV, the equation is starting gravity minus your final gravity, which is at the very end before you bottle it normally, um, times 131.25, and that equals your total ABV. So let's say that I started my uh, wine, for example, and it, my hydrometer floated at 1.060. Now, I don't know my total, my final gravity yet because my liquid hasn't started, but we're going to go ahead and assume, and assume just for this experiment that we end at 1.000. So, um, we started at 1.060. We're going to subtract 1.000, which is our final gravity. Now, that gives us 0 0.06. We multiply that by 131.25 giving us a ABV percent of 7.875. That's the exact ABV it should be. So that's assuming you know your final gravity. Is your final gravity always going to be 1.000? No. Lots of times in beers, they end up uh, ending early. So let's take another example. Let's say I made a stout and I started at 1.045. I'm going to subtract, let's say my final gravity was 1.010. That leaves me with 0 0.035. Multiply that by 135.25%. My ABV is 4.59%. So that's the equation you can use. Now there's another way you can do this. You can actually take and use a website to calculate this for you and I'll show you that in a second. But before I show you that, there are a couple hindrances you might run into. Let's say that after you have finished your, your um, wine, beer, mead, cider has finished fermenting through the primary, meaning the bulk of the fermentation or all the fermenting it can on what sugars are there. If you add more sugars and your yeast are able to continue to eat sugars, then you are going to add ABV. So you might need to take a second gravity reading um, if you add more sugars later on because yeast oftentimes will continue to eat sugars until they poss cannot possibly do that anymore. Now I'm not going to dive too deep in that because that becomes a wormhole. So let me teach you about the website I like to use um, that helps me calculate this much easier. All right, so one of the really nice websites I like to use is called brewersfriend.com, and I'll make sure and put it here. But this is what the website looks like. When you click on it, you have um, a bunch of really cool stuff. You can become a, you know, whatever, log in, do stuff. It has a bunch of uh, builders. So if you want to figure out how much stuff you want to put into a recipe, there's a complete recipe builder and all this stuff. Anyways, we're using this alcohol by volume ABV. This is a calculator, and this does exactly what I was talking about, but it is far simpler, and the link to this will be down below. But looking at it, let's say that we have all of our information here. We have original gravity. I want to say my original gravity was 1.048, and I ended at 1.005. This just calculates out immediately, hey, look how much ABV I have. Now the one area where this might be a little bit different is in your like it says calories down here all those things that might not be the same thing for whatever you're using if you're making like a mead um, it might be a higher 
uh, calorie percent. This is namely for beer, but the gravity side is very helpful. So let's talk about one other weird thing that you might have to deal with. Like I was saying a moment ago, if you add more sugars into your brew afterwards, you have to take a couple different gravity readings. So for example, let's say that my starting gravity is 1.060, and it end, after the primary, it ended at 1.000. Okay, so I'll do my, my uh, normal math and do my multiplications. Here we are, 7.875. That's my current percent. Now, if I add more sugar on top of my brew and the yeast are able to eat said sugar, then that will change this reading. So we started off at 1.060, ended at 1.000. Let's say that I add some regular sugar on top and it brings my gravity from 1.000 up to 1.0. 10, which is a lot, but I can do the exact same thing and let's assume that the um, yeast eat all of these sugars, so we end at 1.000, do my math again, okay, so now I have, um, oh I did something weird, this was 0 0.01, so I'm adding now, or I have added 1.31% ABV. So I take my original, which was, so I take my original uh, ABV that I got, which was 7.875, and I add 1.31%, leaving me with my grand total, assuming that our process has happened, at 9.185, or basically 9.2% um, ABV. So what's really important is that you are constantly checking, making sure that you have your gravity readings um, as accurate as possible, which means you have to have a hydrometer to do this. So again, the math to figure out your just general ABV is, fin or is excuse me, starting gravity minus final gravity times 131.25. Um, and then if you have some extra sugars, that be that is where it becomes a little bit different. Or you can use the Brewer's Best calculator that we have here. I hope this has helped. Um, I am, I will gladly answer questions down below if you have any questions and thanks for watching. Cheers.